bad. But basically when you're going to store it, you can store it in these plastic drums, you can store it on the ground. But we're basically just watering in or adaptogenic microbe mix. Just 50-50 with water. Uh, and we're just watering that right into the surface. Now you can, you can uh, water that in as you're layering it up, a bit by bit, you can water it in, that's ideal. But if not, uh, then you can water it from the top down. And now we're just gonna cover over it with a bit of a mulch and give it another hit of the um, fermentation. So we come back in, we've got some really clean uh, cover crop fed manure. Uh, lactating manure in this case because you have access to it which is basically a dairy cow uh, and so we can actually use any type of good clean manure off the farm this is a little bit of uh, rich soil from underneath that those yards so that's going to have a lot of microbes in there as well you're going to have a lot of that biological loading um, process so we can break this manure up nice and fine this is just one cow patty uh, it's really nice consistency so that's how you fed you get that um, perfect moisture level, perfect feel, it's not too runny. So we can take that and break that up. This could be goat manure, it could be horse manure, it could be anything, it could be human manure if that's all you've got and you're game for it. In this case, we're using cow, which in my opinion is some of the best quality manure that you can actually get your hands on. This could be chicken manure too, it could just be scrapings from under your chook yards. And so we just wanted to give that another water down with the fermentation. This is just plain um, labs that the farmers had here on site. But you can actually, uh, our fermentation that we have online as well, that's something that you can use in, in place of it if you're not making your own labs up. It's a bit more enhanced, it's a biodynamic fermented labs. Uh, but lactobacillus is amazing bacteria. That's our anaerobic kingpin. So then we're coming over with just a little bit of hay again. This is just leftover hay from where the mulcher was sitting by the looks of it. So it's got a little bit of a uh, tiny bit of that clay soil that's in there as well. So that's also going to give a bit of home to the microbes. It's just a bonus. I didn't actively seek it out. Um, we're patting that down nicely, wanting it all to touch the surface so the microbes have access to it. Coming back in and using the rest of our brew now. Nice even distribution. This is basically going to feed the compost and the compost is gonna to help to feed it. Uh, and you're basically gonna have a nice little fusion between aerobic compost and anaerobic organisms. They will colonize the surface and they will continue to reproduce and around this material and start to feed on the manures, feed on the hay and also feed on our morpheus that's in there and they'll synergize together and it's basically just a way of intensifying those cultures and just getting more more out of your uh, compost. The next step is to protect it from the rain. Ideally you'd want this in like a nice shaded position but here on the farm we've got limited choices especially when it's hay cutting time so there's basically no shed space uh, around. And then we're coming up for a sealed process. Really help those anaerobes kick along. There's plenty of oxygen inside the structure of the material, the compost, all the way through there. It's got a lot of pore space and it's not really consuming oxygen at this point because it is finished. There you have it guys, so if that's left to culture for 7 to 14 days, you're going to have a really nice plume of fungal activity in there, you're going to have all the bacteria in there, you're going to have anaerobes, aerobes, you're going to have hyphae all over the place, because it's that fusion between that compost and the anaerobic organisms, so you're going to have an absolute frenzy, and then that will obviously continue to do its thing through that profile. Um, you can have multiple ones of these drums at a time, you could have an IBC pod, uh, I like the plastic mainly because, like, obviously not because it's plastic but because the air uh, is regulated around there so it doesn't actually dry out it holds the moisture and moisture is key for those microbes so it's more important to have that moisture in there so you could be in an ibc pod you could be on the ground surrounded by hay bales wrapped with a tarp it's however you choose to store your morpheus but this is a really good way to keep it active